early morning in Canmore. It's this uh, scenic trail that goes down to the uh, the old railroad bridge and down along the river. And we're just gonna give her. It's just after 7.30. We left Calgary at like 6.30. So this trail goes all the way down here, across the bridge. Maybe got some good scenery, snowing. But we're here for a challenge and a change in scenery. So let's give her. <laughs> Slow down. Serious shaky cam. <laughs> Got some mountains up there. This is the train bridge that we're coming up to. Old train bridge, I believe. No longer in use. I could be completely wrong. So you can either go down here, along the river on that side, there's another trail that starts further back there, and then you get this view, and train bridge. We're going to run on this side today. Uh, says the other trail and gonna give her again for a bit. So I'm actually very lost. Um, <laughs> the path that I thought would take me along the river uh, disappeared through the woods and I picked up another path but it's like this overflow from the dam and some houses. So, I'm still in the city somewhere, but very lost. <laughs> well, it's pretty nice out here. Feels like Christmas, man. All right, catch your breath, keep rock and rolling. Deja vu. It's like being in the twilight zone. So we're back on trail. And other side of the river. Give that a try. It's like being in a, in a Stephen King movie. <laughs> So, we did a big loop over there into that pile of rocks, out and around and back, and now down here. But I see the trail that I needed to get onto, but 
I'll just keep going on this one. Another bridge. Deja vu. By two. Alright, back at her. So just check with the GPS tracker, we're just at about 3.5 kilometers in 35 minutes. So no world records yet. Um, I'm gonna head back. I think on the way back it's a kilometer and a half. So we'll hit uh, just about five in 45 minutes, under 50 minutes. Terrible time, but. Some sort of wild Canmore seagull. Oh, there he goes. WTF, man. Deja vu. Pretty sure I was here before. More paths everywhere. I think we're lost. I think, I think Canmore is gonna be our doom. We gotta get out of here, man. We've been running. I think it's gonna be five kilometers. We got more paths. We're just going around in circles. Let's see what the sign says. Oh shit, deja vu, we're at a bridge again. I think we're trapped in a nightmare. I remember that bench. I got a funny story about that bench. One day I'll share with you. And this is the pathway out, out of this nightmare. Um, I come to Canmore for the scenery and I really come here for the people at all. I think I must have passed about, oh, about a dozen people on the way on my jogging route here. And I think I said good morning to like everybody because that's what I naturally do. It's like a reflex reaction, even at nighttime. Good morning. Yeah, people are like, that guy is drunk again. But yeah, I said good morning to like all these people. Not one person said good morning. That's kind of bummer, you know. Good mornings kind of light up your day. This is such a nice path. But the icing on the cake is, uh, um, <laughs> it's an Aussie story because people wonder why I don't really like Aussies. I think it's because Aussies are just like full of themselves. But <laughs> there's this Aussie guy near the side of that bridge. One of the ten times that I went over it. <laughs> and his dog's off leash. And his dog runs up to me because he's just, you know, lazy, probably hung over. And leaning over the bridge. And his dog's about, uh, maybe about 50 meters from him. And his dog runs up to me. And he's always like, Oi, don't touch my dog, mate. So is the accent? Is that like a drunk Irish? Anyways, whatever. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, Oi, Jojo, come here. <laughs> the dog runs away. <laughs> I was like, all right, you got your off-leash dog in, you know, a non-off-leash area. Not my fault. But, you know, then I thought about it. I was like, people probably don't really get my accent. And they just thought I said, Give me your wallet. <laughs> then I said that to, you know, I came up with the guy's dog. He's like, Jojo, he's gonna steal your wallet. <laughs> ah, this is funny. All right, that's it. Head back to the car. I also forgot. I still got zero subscribers. Like, what the heck, man? I don't even know what to do. I'd like somebody to say, hey, I'll get you like, a thousand fake followers. No, I don't really want fake followers. I don't like some good folks following. 
but if you're bored and you want to help a guy out, he subscribe. I'm going to steal your wallet. God damn it. So, back in the car. Official distance, 5.88. Burned zero calories, but I maxed out at 103.47 kilometers an hour. 57 minutes. Well, the last 15 was just me walking and talking. How cool is that? I am now the fastest man in the world. Guinness World Book of Records? Call me. The fuck? It's a bridge! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Deja vu. Subscribe. <sighs> Subscribe. And I'll beat that 103.47. Because I am the fastest man alive. <laughs>